I'm gonna pull up a camera and I'm gonna do this all over the web interface, even though you can do it with a, um, you can do this with uh, your remote control. Let's pull up the web interface quickly, Mike, because this might actually be a good way for people to see this. A lot of a lot of our customers want to control their cameras remotely, right? It's a it's a robotic camera. Um, when we go to the control tab, we have the ability to turn auto tracking on, and we have a couple different options for bounding boxes. And so we're going to use the bounding boxes. Now, before I do this real quick, I just want to check. Okay, so this is IR Remote One. I'm going to set it to IR Remote Four. Um, all right, come back to this in the control tab. Sorry about that, Mike. I'm going to turn auto tracking on. We've got the bounding boxes on the selecting the target. You can turn the bounding boxes off because there's times when you're in a live broadcast, you don't want a giant bounding box on people. <laughs> sure. uh, but I am going to do the bounding box so you guys can see what's going on. The other thing here is the zoom mode. You see, we've got the optical, digital, and then we also have a hybrid mode. The hybrid mode's in beta. So it in order to turn the hybrid mode on, you go into advanced over here. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, anyhow, we have it on. Let's do digital, and we'll do like a 2x digital just in case. All right, motion sync is on. Let's let's turn auto tracking on. So when we turn auto tracking on, you can see a bounding box around Tess right here. And Mike, I don't know if you want to go to the, the big screen or not, but essentially we have the ability to switch between See, look at me over here too. Yeah, there's a little box for me over here, <laughs> and big box for you, Tess. I'm gonna. I think I kind of want to do a little auto tracking. Is that okay with you yeah, guys? Yeah, I'm fine with yeah, that. Track away, buddy. All right, you guys are gonna have to talk. <laughs> so I'm leaving my mic. Okay. Paul's leaving the mic and dropping something on the ground, <laughs> but that's his all right. Chair on the way. And I'm not going to disturb the fact that the camera is tracking yeah, him. Yeah, I'm gonna try to stop him. That is the presenter lock that he's demonstrating right now where a single presenter can be locked while others are in the frame. Yeah, perfect for those There's houses of worship, hey! large lecture <laughs> halls and education, very large buildings you can just track and follow people along the route. So that's, I, I, I feel like we didn't show that. Sorry, I know that was kind of like sideways. Yeah, no. Um, now I'm going to turn the auto tracking off. Boom, just wanted to show that. So that's what we mean by presenter lock, the ability to choose a specific person 